Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Bass Wolf channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. This is probably going to be the shortest intro you have ever seen from me. It is about 7.45 and I'm on my way to the dump to meet up with my dad and we're just going to fish. I got about two hours before I got to get into work. So that's, that's the goal. We're just going to try to catch some fish. That's it. Birthday bass redemption. Because I did go fishing on my birthday and I managed to miss all three of the bites that I got because I'm an excellent fisherman. Really quick before we do get started, if you are not subscribed, please drop down, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment, all of that fun stuff. I know half of you that are watching right now are not subscribed and it's totally free. It only takes half a second. And if you don't like my content, you can always unsubscribe later. Simple. Verse of the day is popping up on the screen right now. There it is. It's beautiful. All of its gloriousness. I'll see you guys when we get out in the water. Oh. What's it look like? I said, what's it look like? Not bad. Oh, it looks fantastic compared to what it has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it. Got about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. Something like that. I gotta set me an alarm. So we got two hours, Dad. Two hours. What? Toss me one. I, it don't matter. It just, what, what is it? What's that one? No, no, we're gonna do it this way. I feel like the... <laughs> The cream cheese and chives will probably be better on my teeth, but I mean the blueberry will probably be better on my teeth. So let's go. Let's go with that. All right. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> Breakfast. All right. I'm going. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna start fishing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fish this. Uh, this grass line right here. That water from uh, fish pond like made my reel disgusting. Start out with the Guggen Squad Zinger in bluegill pattern because that's what they eat here. Just kidding. <laughs> I got you. No fish there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the Dead Sea. And as you can clearly see, I got it rigged up already. I'm ready to go. Um, and obviously, it is the next day. We went to the dump yesterday, as you guys seen, and I only had about two hours to fish. And I didn't even see a fish until maybe... 10 minutes before I had to leave because I had work. Today, I don't have to go to work. So we got all day to figure this place out. The good news is it's sunny, it's warm. I'm here, we have all day. There's a lot of good news, a lot of good news stacking up. The only thing that worries me a little bit is the wind does keep picking up like, like it is right now and it's really hard to fish out of this thing when the wind's blowing, but it, it seems like it's just gusts and every now and then you get some uh, free time. So I might have to just wait a spot out, but nonetheless, we're going to try it. So uh, I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to get in there and hopefully we can catch some fish today. Hopefully today's the day that we can catch more than one here and maybe something of size. So you guys stay tuned and enjoy the video. So I had to come back and get my paddle. I got the kayak in the water. Really quick, today is my son's birthday. He turned 11. So, he watches my videos. And I know he would be stoked if you all wished him a happy birthday. He'd probably like that a lot. So, if you want to, drop down in the comment section and put happy birthday, Keelan. And I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's go catch some fish. Let's make something happen. Make something happen. We got old Faithful tied on, old wacky rig. And I'm gonna actually start right here because I know giant, giant bass stay here. The reason I know that is because both of my PBs were caught standing right here on this bank line in the exact same spot. One was over there by that lay down and one was right out here, but same general area. Okay, so hopefully this changes our luck a little bit. We got a lucky Yoohoo and uh, little bluegill square built and i also think i see my dad over there 
So I'm gonna go over there. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. And if you guys know me, you know I'm not comfortable with crankbaits. It's not that I don't think they work. It's just I've never really had much luck. I think I've caught one or two fish on a crankbait in my entire life. Let's go check on Dad. I had no idea he was coming. What are you doing, old man? How long you been here? So how long you staying? Huh? I ain't either. All right. So you want to just go around this cove back to where you started? Never told you where though, did he? There we go. <laughs> Crankbait. Oh, it popped out. It popped out. It popped out. Heck yeah. I'll get that in a second. The crankbait. Because I don't want to get. You got your scale, you? I ain't weighing that. What is it? About a pound? Uh, about a pound and a half. Yeah, pound, pound and a quarter. Not big, but. I mean. Pretty, huh? On a crankbait, I ain't, I mean, I've only caught maybe two fish on a crankbait. He's really cold, too. <laughs> I came right yes. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. When I mashed it, it blinked. All right, number one for the day, hopefully. First of many. See you, dude. That came on this little bluegill square bill. I don't even know where I got this thing. I was just telling dad, he kind of just came out of nowhere and hammered it. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it, but I'm not mad about it. He came off of a lay down back there, right where he should have been. Well, they are pushed back here. I just seen a good sized bass, dad. Good Lord. Look at that one. I thought he was gonna hit me. <laughs> I'm physically not moving. <laughs> I'm like paddling as hard as I can and I'm not moving. I don't know if you guys can even hear me or not, but the wind is worse than it's been either of the two days that I ended up leaving because of the wind. It's worse today. Like it's getting really bad. Like really bad. I don't even know how I'm gonna get out of this cove. Ugh. Oh my lord. I don't even know where this came from. This is literally nuts. Like I can't even make casts. Like I'll make a cast and now look, I'm right on the bank already. And I'm starting a good distance away from the bank. It's not like I'm already up on the bank. It's just ridiculous. Dad was on uh, Jenkins Lake earlier and he said the wind there is awful. That's what brought him here. So you know if the wind is like this. You know if the wind is like... <laughs> I was just talking to you guys. That was an absolute mess. I almost uh, broke every one of my rods. 
I believe we got it under control now. I had to uh, pull up on the, the shore here just a little because that wind was blowing me right into all the trees. It was causing us some, some severe issues. Caught up in all this net. Hold on. That part of the net is free. That's all we need free to get you out. There he is, guys. Fish number two. It only took all freaking day, but I'm pumped about it. All right, guys. One last look. Fish number two. Thank you, my guy. Sorry it took me a minute to get you free. And there he goes. Awesome. Man, that was hectic. Um, <laughs> this got all caught up in the net and I was trying to get him out and the wind blew me into a tree. And the issue with that is all of my rods are in my crate standing straight up. And then I managed to pull one out of the crate and I set it on the kayak. And then when I tried to go shallow so I could get all this out, that rod stabbed into the bank and I about broke it there too. That was um, interesting for sure. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty stoked because you know, even though the wind is brutal and it's about to push me off the lake, we managed to catch more than one before that happened. And that's not something that usually happens here, so. And they were both on this square bill. I'm not 100% sure what brand this is. I'll show you guys. So this is what it looks like. Kind of transparent, but it's a bluegill pattern and bluegill color on top of that and there's no name on it no brand i don't even remember where i got this i've had it for a while though but that's what both of them came on <laughs> so you caught one and he hooked you <laughs> well i seen you hold it up and you said "Woo!" So I, I figured you caught one, but I, I was all the way over there. I couldn't see it. Yeah. Well, at least you caught one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to have to do it for today. Um, we didn't get on them like I wanted to, but the wind just would not allow me to fish. It's been tough for the past couple of days. The wind has just been brutal. So in those conditions... I'm happy that we managed to catch two. And then dad also caught one, but I wasn't around him. I seen him hold it up. And then he also missed one right after. So four fish here in these conditions, that's not a bad day. I'm pretty happy with it. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support. I truly, truly appreciate it. And um, if you guys want to support me a little bit more, make sure you are subscribed. Half of you that are watching right now are not subscribed. So Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and drop a comment down below. And make sure you hit the notification bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload again. But anyways, I'm going to have to go ahead and call it a day and get to the house because I'm starving to death. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace!